Hi, my name is Stephanie Smith, and we're coming to you live today at Dinosaur Hill in front of our beautiful locally sewn seed library. Um, we're part of the Rochester Pollinators, and we are going to teach you today how to winter sow. Yes, you heard that correctly. You can garden in the winter. Yes. Uh, it's why not, right? It's cold and you've got nothing better to do. So I'm Amber Quisenberry, also a part of the Rochester Pollinators and Locally Sewn. And we're going to go over what supplies you need to get started and run you through it. Okay. First, you'll need a translucent plastic bottle, like a milk jug or water jug. Some water to moisten your potting soil. Some seeds. Today we're using tall coreopsis, or you can come check out our seed library to check out native seeds, Michigan native seeds. And you need a Sharpie, duct tape, X-Acto knife, or scissors. The first step is to peel off any labels that are on your bottle and to remove the cap. Then you want to make some drainage holes in the bottom of your milk jug. While Stephanie's doing that, um, the soil that we use is any potting soil mix from a local garden center. Um, you don't want to use soil from your backyard. Uh, even though we are growing natives, there would be too much competition in the soil with weed seeds. So a good potting soil is all you need. It's not complicated. Okay, and you can see here are the drainage holes that I made in the bottom. The next step is about five inches up. We're gonna go ahead and make a cut on our milk jug. I'm just gonna use a Sharpie to make a mark for my cutting. You want your soil depth to be about three to four inches inside the milk jug. You can also use um, plastic vinegar bottles, um, takeout containers, juice bottles, if you don't have milk jugs. want to go all the way around with leaving an inch hinge. Like so. Okay, and then now we're going to add our soil mixture that is moistened. I'm adding it into the bottom. Okay, and then I just compacted it down just a little bit. That's, you can see, three to four inches. Okay, and did you want to short? So, like uh, she said, we're planting tall coreopsis. Um, native plants do not mind growing close together. They actually like the company of their own, kind of like teenagers. So you can really cover the whole surface. Kind of sprinkle it on, like you're seasoning something. Oops. And then we'll add some soil to the top, just lightly. Yeah, the rule of thumb is you plant seeds uh, the same uh, depth as their width. If you do come to our seed library and pick out cardinal flower, great lobelia, um, those are two seed types that are really tiny. You do want to just sow them directly on top of the soil without putting any soil on top of those seeds because of their size. Okay, we'll go ahead and that. We're going to mark what, what seeds that we planted inside here with our Sharpie. So 
that I went ahead and marked my jug. And then we're gonna take our duct tape and close our container. And keeping it closed will keep um, any critters out that wanna eat your seeds before they have a chance to germinate. And then you're gonna set this outside. Um, it can be in the sun, but it, it's best if it's in a protected area, so up against a building, uh, just to keep it from getting blown over and um, like some of harsh winter winds. Right, and then when your, um, your seedlings start to grow and they form their first true leaves and the temperature's 50 to 60 consecutively, um, for a number of days, you do want to pull the top off because you do want your little greenhouse to not get too warm for your seeds that you just planted, your little seedlings. So that's usually late March, uh, early April. And at that time, you'll also want to check and make sure that uh, it's not drying out. Through the winter months, it should stay where you don't need to water it. The hole in the top will allow for some um, rain and snow to get in. Thank you for attending our workshop today and um, good luck with your native plant gardens.